What's up everyone, it's Mark here with M2M Detail. In this video guys, we're gonna do a real quick install on this 2016 Camry, just a front two window tint. I'm gonna already got it cut out, got it all up on the whiteboard, plot it out. So let that run real quick while we're talking guys. We're just doing a 20% on the front two windows using SunTech Films. So um, pretty much we're just gonna pop the door panels back real quick. Let's do a little quick, show you guys how we do that. Let me flip you around. So real quick, we're just gonna pop these out right here with a little snap-on tool and then we'll pry this back, and then we'll have a clean area, be able to bottom load that window tent. All right guys, so let's get straight into the video. Hopefully you guys learned something, you guys enjoyed the video, let's get to it. All right guys, so this is a snap-on tool I was telling you guys about, just a little L-hook right here, we're, and we're gonna pop this out under the screw, and then we'll be able to pop the panel back. So real quick guys, when you're using these, make sure you don't scratch the plastic, it will leave a mark, it's not gonna come out. So um, easiest way to do this, you're gonna pull the handle back, we're gonna put it behind the handle, grab behind the plastic, where it feels safe and we pull it back and now for that we'll grab this little phillips make sure we're loosening it go in there i should have got the impactor out my bad that's all done so that's out so now that that's clear guys we're gonna go ahead and pop back this panel so i'm gonna start in this corner right here hold the door with my knee and we're just gonna pry it back there we go we just need a little bit just so we can tuck the film down and there we go so that's all we need we're just popping a tiny bit on this car some cars we gotta remove the whole door panel but on this one guys it's not too bad we'll just be able to move the top don't want it to fall back down just enough so we have the gasket away from the window as the window goes up and down all right guys let's do the other side all right guys same thing over here we're gonna grab our little l-shaped tool pull the handle back grab in behind and these are easy to pop out Unlike the new Dodges, those are a lot harder. You gotta work your way all the way around them. But this one's not too bad. You got the impactor for this one, guys. There we go. Grab that screw out. Bam. Now let's do the same thing. We're gonna work from the back side. I'm gonna put my knee on the door so the door doesn't pop back with me. Pretty much you just wanna get over that edge like that. Then we're just gonna go all the way. There we go. So this is all gapped out now. The glass won't touch the felt as I'm putting the window tin. So let's get this prepped up and ready for install. All right guys, so we're gonna go over some of the install tools we're gonna use for this. We got our peach card right here, the hard card. You got a tri -edge, um triangle right here, guys. Works really good. Concord, easy ring, just easy reach. And we got our regular squeegee just to clean the window. We also have our Blue Max right here with the Fusion S handle. So I think it's a six inch, I believe. It's either a six inch or eight inch, I can't remember. And then we got our razor blade right here, another razor blade here. Then these are gonna be our cleaning towels and prep for cleaning the window will be a lint-free towel, the waffle weave right here. There is our soap solution. We have some palm olive and water. All right guys, so we're ready to prep the window. Um, being a 2016, we're gonna just razor blade the whole window real quick. And we're already doing a detail on the vehicle, so not really worry about getting too much spray everywhere because we will be detailing the whole inside and outside of the vehicle right now. Right, we're just gonna work that top edge. After we get our top, we're gonna come down just like that. Remember, always keeping that blade at 45 degrees so you're not gonna scratch the glass. You don't wanna be straight on, you don't wanna be on a corner. It's a nice 45 like that. I'm gonna go in the razor blade. You don't have to do this process. If you don't see any like dirt build up in the cracks. This one was a little dirty, so it's gonna raise your blade down the side gasket like that. Just pick up anything. Once that's done, just give it one little quick spray. We're gonna grab our lint free towel and then we're gonna hit pretty much everything surrounding the window and the window itself. Just do a nice little clean, just in case the tint touches anything. We want to make sure everything's clean so the tent won't pick up any debris. And we'll do one more spray up there. Get that top edge a little bit. Just roll it out just in case it brings down debris. There we go. So now that we did that, guys, now we're going to go into our cleaning phase. Just a spray, squeegee spray. We're going to get down those gaskets very good. Make sure you're nice and cleaned out. Then we'll grab our regular squeegee and we're just gonna squeegee it to the corner, just like that. And there we go. Then we'll grab our Concord. 
Going to come down the back side first, just like that. Get all that out, down the front, down the front, and then we'll go across the bottom. Make sure that all looks good. Ugh. There we go. So now we're ready for tent install, guys. So we're going to spray this down nicely. Remember, we want to wash down any debris. If there is any debris on the glass, we want to bring it all to the bottom. So there we go. I'm going to grab the film real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys, coming in with the tent. Let's get this on the car. I'm going to bring the back down a little bit. Get that front end real quick. Just like that, slide into place. Try not to touch anything if you can, guys. And it's getting a little tacky. So we just gotta play with it a little bit. Help loosen it up. And there we go. That front end, once the front's in, guys, we're gonna work on this back side. And we just pull it down slowly. Remember, you don't wanna get any creases. So just take your time. And sometimes it's real quick, sometimes it takes a while. But pretty much what we try not to do is bend the film. So we don't have to spend time burning out creases or debris, wherever the case may be. So a good thing is try not to go over that top edge as you're laying the film. There's a high possibility you could pick up some debris. So that looks good. Let's check the outside. We want to make sure these gaskets are covered up. So we don't see a tint gap, a light gap. Looks good. That looks good. So now that we checked the outsides, we're gonna check our top line. And um, sometimes we do shave the tent, depending on how the fitment is. This fitment's really nice so far along this whole top edge. So I don't think we're gonna have to shave. But a good way to check is just uh, run your finger across it. If the film catches, that means that you do have to shave or you reposition the film a little bit, move it down. You can see how it's moving a little bit right now. So we're gonna let it sit for a minute. Just like that. Get that top edge line back up. You can see the window tint is falling. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do a quick little squeegee on this backside right here, hold the film for a minute. The front's not falling though, so that's good. It's just his back, so just go like that. A quick little squeeze you guys not our regular hard pass or anything we just want to hold the film for a little bit let it tack down a little bit before we squeeze out the whole film as we're waiting for that we'll wipe down the door panel all right so we're gonna spray it then i grab my squeegee i give this a little spray make sure it's nice and clean and we're gonna hold the film with one hand squeegee with the other one so we're just working our way so still have all this squeegee out once that's done we'll come over here hold it over here just pull it to the front just like that and then we'll come in get a little bit closer close as we can and then we'll go across our top edge just like that let's get into this crack a little bit this little gasket push all the slip solution out all right guys so that's pretty much one pass we're gonna go do do one more over this this one's gonna be a little bit harder. So make sure we didn't have any air or solution left behind. Go in, give it a little bit more force. Just like that. Now that's, that's done. Get this back in like that. Now we're gonna go in with our triangle, tri edge. We grab this. It was a little rough, let me grab a different one. So make sure you guys are sanding down your tools. That one was a little rough. Haven't done that one in a couple days, I guess but I have another one. So we'll use this, get in the gasket, make sure everything falls out, go in the front, and we're gonna go down this side. So I do these twice, just like that. Then we'll come in with our peach card, this one right here, and we're gonna hit our top edge, make sure that's all laying down before we roll the window up. So as we go through there, we wanna make sure everything looks good. So I can fill the tent a little bit on right here, guys. So we are definitely gonna have to shave that. That's not gonna work out good for us. There we go. Just like that. Bring this down a little bit so we can shave it. All right, guys, shave window tent. Just grab a little file and pretty much. Go. 
go. Come up here. All right, that looks good. Now I want to check, make sure there's nowhere else. The film's uh, coming down. Grab our peach card again, the towel. And guys, it's kind of warm right now, so I'm not using the heat gun. Normally when we're sealing this top edge, we'll use a heat gun, but it's a little warm right now. I'm not having no issues. After that, we're gonna push against the window, roll the window all the way up. Then we're squeegee out this bottom area, guys. Oh, we'll go like this. Get nice and down. Make sure you guys go really hard over the lettering. That is a common area. I see where air gets trapped. So just take your time on that. There we go. So the whole bottom's done. Now we'll grab our hard card and the towel. So this is just gonna get any solution down there that we couldn't get with the squeegee because we did not fully pop the door panel off. We just popped the top edge. Then it looks good. Now we're gonna get our tri edge. And we'll go down the side gaskets. One, two. Do it one more time. One, two. All right. So, all right, guys, this window is pretty much done. So, we're going to go to the other side. Get that one checked out. See how that one looks. Wipe this off real quick. And then we're going to do our inspection from the outside right now. So, I'll show you guys that. So pretty much, just give it a quick little spray. We are going to wash the car right now, so don't worry about the mess. Okay. So guys, as we're doing the inspection, all we're looking for is um, fingers or debris along this edge, down at the bottom, if we have any fingers down here. Also over here, which we got a couple little bubbles right here. So I'm gonna grab my peach card and squeegee those out just like that. So that's why you guys wanna do your check right after a tent. It's super easy to move air bubbles. And there we go. So that looks good. Now that everything's all laying down, back edge looks nice, everything looks good. All right, guys, hop on the new, next window. Okay, guys, got my keg on this side. So we're gonna spray it down, get in these gaskets, give the whole thing a spray real quick. Let's get that top edge. And let's get to our razor blade. So the razor blade, same thing, guys. I wanna get this top edge nice and clean. If you guys are new to window tint, the best advice I could tell you is just keep practicing. <laughs> just uh, take your time and um, just keep practicing the best way to do it but now we're gonna go down before we do our top edge same thing guys we're gonna go down the side gaskets right now so put this down a tiny bit extend your blade just right down nice and smooth there we go so now if that's clean we're gonna give it another quick spray real quick because it's pretty much dry then we'll grab our lint free towel we're gonna wipe everything same way I'm like stuck on a crack right here. And let's get that. We're gonna get that top edge real good. I'm gonna roll that debris out. One more wipe across that top edge just because we rolled it up and down. Now we're gonna do our spray squeegee spray to clean the window. Our squeegee. Get in here just like that. Grab our Concord guys. Cross that bottom edge, our back edge down the front now we're gonna go across the bottom just like that there we go so now we're good for our final spray down and we're just gonna get that real good in the gasket cross top edge front gasket real quick guys when you guys are handling the film and stuff you know just be extra careful it's pretty fragile and you don't want to touch the liner side with the adhesive and you just want to be as clean as possible when you guys are handling the film. That's going to make a much cleaner install at the end of the window tent installation. So just take your time, guys. That's all I can say. Our film. 
we want to get this front side down just like that we want to move it into position get it down a little bit get that back in like that We got that front down. We want to slide down this back side. You guys can tell this is pretty tacky. Let me tell you. So just want to try to get it down before that top edge. Looks good. Let's check our front side. Let me grab a towel, wipe that down. So let's check our front. We'll make sure the gaskets don't have a light gap. So your back is looking good. Front's looking good, guys. So we're just gonna let that set up for a minute. All right, so now we're good to tack down. Um, when you guys are doing window tint, just be patient. I mean, sometimes you could add too much soap or not enough soap. And you could be fighting, like trying to put it on like I just did because I didn't have enough soap in my slip solution. So just, you know, find what ratio works for you. And, you know, if you need more time to maneuver the film, just add more soap to it. And that's going to give you more play time. I have this one pretty quick. I, uh, I got to check my solution. I don't know what I was looking at when I did it. I probably just did like a little squeeze of soap. Could have done more. So we're going to rinse this off again, guys. Just like that. Uh, we're going to hold this back side, right? We're going to squeegee it down. There we go. Hold the front. Squeegee that back out. There we go. Now right here, guys, we want to double check our top edge. Make sure it didn't move on us. And it didn't, so we were good. There we go, now we're going to hit our top edge again. Get that all squeegee straight up. Looking good. Now we're going to do one more pass, guys. And then we're gonna hit our corners down, our side gaskets. That, that. So I don't know if you guys could tell. While I'm squeegeeing, I'm doing right here for my first, over here for my second, over here for my third. So I'm never pulling back farther than my squeegee where I could get air bubble around this corner to let it leave in here. So always um, initial, second, third, work your way down oh you know farther away from your first squeegee so you, you have less likely less of a chance to um lead back slip solution or air bubble or debris you just want to be able to identify where you guys are squeegeeing at so guys let's hit that top edge roll up the windows and we're going to lock down that bottom just so we could double check make sure that top edge is looking good guys i'm gonna go ahead and Now we'll just do that one more time. Saw a little bit hanging over, so just want to catch that before you roll the window up. All right, push away. And let's lock down this bottom, guys, and we'll be done. Woo! You guys are close. So right here, guys, there's a big finger. Um, so if you have big fingers, you don't want to work from here to there or from there to here. Pretty much you want to start in your middle, squeeze you all out right here. So we do right down the middle. And I'm just gonna work my way to the side. Remember, go really hard over those logos or the emblem. See, we got a big finger right here. We're gonna hit it, hit it again. There we go. Fingers are gone. Sometimes, guys, you will have to shrink windows, so that's a totally different topic. But most um, frameless doors, Mustangs, Teslas, Corvettes. You will have to shrink the film before installing or you do like a snap shrink on these and you won't have to fight fingers or anything but be, moving this gasket makes it super easy to tint the windows 
because there's not solutions sitting there trying to get back up in the film. There's nothing trying to lift the film back up. So guys, we have a little issue up here. So guys, we did get a little issue right here when we rolled up the window. So we're gonna have to uh, figure that out right now. We gotta lift the tent back up a little bit. Then we wanna get some soap solution in there, guys. And then once that's in, put the film back where it needs to be and squeegee it out, just like that. And that looks good. So now we're definitely gonna pay a little bit more attention up here. Make sure this is all cleaned up. Definitely gonna grab the heat gun on this one, guys. Make sure that's all nicely tidied down before we roll down the window again, or roll back up the window. And that's how you troubleshoot an area that didn't work out. So we're gonna go around the front, clean the front up real quick, and let's see what we're dealing with. So let's give that a quick little spray, and we're just gonna wipe this down. See what that top edge did to us. Probably picked up a, maybe a little bit of air. Okay. So as we can see, it's like two little specks right there, which are not a big deal. We'll get those out right now. Just grab my tri-edge. So we got one right here. You see how we just pulled it? All right, we're gonna grab the heat gun and we'll finish that up. So let me grab the heat gun real quick. All right guys, with the heat gun, we're recording, yeah. So with the heat gun, we're just gonna apply some heat right here. About five seconds. Let that sit for a minute. Apply the heat again. Fill the inside of the glass, you can tell when it's hot. If it's not hot, you need more heat. You guys want to stay away from the rubber right here. That will cause some issues if you burn it. So you can see how we're facing the heat gun away from the rubber. So that's nice and hot now. Let me grab my little chisel. So guys, here's my little chisel right here. Get you guys up here. And we're just going to work these out. I'm going to pull them straight up. Uh, move this window a little bit more. And there we go. That looks good. So now that we got that all heated up, let's roll this window up now. And let's double check this bottom edge. So we just gotta make sure we did our triangle pass. So we're just gonna check, make sure we did down the side and down the side. That looks good. Now we're gonna go back to the outside, double check everything. We are looking good. We got one little bubble right there. So let's um, push that out. And this is all due to that film catching, guys. So see how that little, little thing just made everything that much more work. Bam. Looking good. Roll this window up. Whoo. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for the video. Sorry about that little hiccup, but at least I was able to show you guys how to troubleshoot if the tin did get caught in the top gasket, pulls it down. We didn't get no creases, so that was cool. Just to got to burn some debris out, some little air out. But yeah, overall, guys, everything came out really good. Very simple, very easy install, guys. 
Um, definitely a practice car if you guys are doing one. Get with your hands on one of the Camrys. They're very nice to work on. Not too bad. So I appreciate, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, um, leave some stuff in the comments if you guys have any questions. And um, mark out.